what's going on guys well I couldn't be happier right now um, uh, today <laughs> was a victory for me and this whole story time video is on what's in this little Walmart bag so we're gonna talk about that but first um, I'm going to pack up this brand new pipe which I did christen already but I'm going to be uh, smoking my second bowl in here I'm still kind of working it in a little bit this is a, uh, a freehand Plateau Briar uh, pipe, custom made by Mr. Rich from Blackheart Customs. It's absolutely awesome, awesome pipe. So, I'm going to be trying, actually I christened it with uh, some of my own stuff, but he had sent me a couple tobaccos, and this is a chocolate cream pie, which sounds awesome and it smells really, really good. It's been a long time since I've had a uh, an aromatic. Um, let's see, this is uh, from... Tewksbury Company, uh, Tay, -E, uh, Tay, -E. <laughs> that's how you spell it, Tay, -E. T E W K S B U R Y Company.com. So, a two ounce bag of chocolate cream pie. Mm. Oh, scrumptious. So, packing up this pipe, I'll tell you my story. I'm super, super excited. Actually, had a really nice day today. Um, today is Christina and I's uh, anniversary. One year ago today, we had actually dated. We met, we met probably I don't know, a month and a half before uh, that, but we're considering this our actual anniversary of when we met because um, this is when we first went on a date together. So I went by her and uh, picked her up. We met in person for the first time, and I am such a gentleman. Um, I actually did an EDC video from the Connecticut Park. That was our first date when I when I posted that video. So if you want to watch that, the awkwardness of uh, she was my cameraman and uh, that was pretty cool to look back at that. But anyway, we had a nice romantic time and uh, after uh, hanging out for a while and stuff, we went to Barnes and Noble and and uh, actually just hung out and had some tea and, and played uh, Rummy 500 and she kicked my ass. I really didn't know how to play that specific game at the time. She loved playing cards, and but what, what I loved about her most is that she didn't she didn't play it down. She's just like, "Wow, you suck at this," and I'm like, "Wow, I want to be with this girl. She's uh, she's honest, and that's important." But anyway, enough about that for now. I'm just excited it is uh, the anniversary, and we went out to a really nice dinner. It's actually what brings me into this story. As we stopped at Walmart, we had a couple coupons uh, for some stuff. Christina was making her her own detergent from scratch. Um, there's a bunch of people doing it, you know, it's kind of a prepping thing, but it's really uh, just a way to save money. It's a lot easier than you would think, and she just tried today, she did a bunch of laundry, everything came out better than ever, and it, it works out to be, I don't know, two cents a load or something like that, but anyway, so we uh, went out to dinner, um, had a really nice time, got back from dinner, had some private time, uh, the two of us, and, uh, and now it is uh, midnight, and uh, although I already feel pretty relaxed, I'm going to... Uh, enjoy this pipe and tell you a story anyway because I am super super excited about what's in this bag what the hell's in the bag Jeff I'll tell you in just a second hang in there all right gotta have patience all right let me get this thing started and I'll tell you all about, you guessed it, it's in the bag. It's pretty damn good. I like that. I gotta know, I gotta know, I gotta be conscious of not trying to smoke this too fast. The aromatics, they just, uh, very common for them to overheat if you smoke them too fast and then you get some uh, tongue bite and stuff. But uh, anyway. Let's see here. Still got to get my pipe going. Alright. So let me tell you what's in the back. I have a battery for my camera. Now, why is that special? Well, first of all, I need a battery for my camera for a long time, 
But this particular battery is extremely special and has a very good story that goes along with it. And what makes this so exciting for me is that I've been waiting to buy this battery for over a year. That's right, for over a year I've been trying to buy this battery. So let me show it to you. I got my receipt here. Here it is. It's a Duracell battery. This goes for my Handycam, which I'm filming on right now. Now let me tell you the story about this battery and why I was looking for it. More than a year ago, um, I had this camera and I only have one uh, brand battery, like one name brand battery for this. And I don't, I don't know if, actually it might be a Duracell, but it's what actually came with the camera. One, you know, actual good brand battery. And uh, the battery only lasts an hour. Okay, that's the charge time on it, is one hour. And um, the problem is that uh, I film a lot, and an hour goes by fairly quickly. And at this point in time, my really good battery doesn't quite hold an hour anymore after a year plus of use on it. Um, it, it lasts about 45 minutes or so, right? So what I wanted to do was I wanted to get some new batteries. About a year ago, hopped online, bought some, um, some batteries that were the same size to fit my camera, but they were off-brand batteries, I don't know, some Chinese-made junk, okay? Got a great deal on it, and it was one of those things where it was just too good to be true. They look great. They charged up fine. I got those with a charger. They were all supposed to be an hour battery as well, and um, they didn't hold the charge. Uh, one of them doesn't work at all. It, it, when I put it in the charger, it shows that it's all charged up, put it in the camera, uh, turns on, says there's one minute. I have no idea what's wrong with that one. Total garbage. I already scrapped it. Uh, the other two, they have about 20 minutes to 35 minutes is about as long as they, they hold the charge. So not nearly as advertised. That's why, you know, you don't buy cheap. You don't buy no-name brand stuff. You can't expect much. I really had my hopes up with that, and I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm you know, thinking, you know, they were a fraction of the cost of a, a real good, you know, name brand battery. So why in my mind I thought it would be just as good, I have no idea. Um, kind of ignorant of me to do that. But anyway, those batteries suck. So... I wanted to get another battery uh, online, and they were just way too expensive. So I ended up going to Walmart to see if they have anything there. And at the time, they had a bunch of batteries, including this very battery. This exact same battery was sitting there. And this one is twice the size. It's twice as fat, and this is supposed to hold the charge for two hours, which I really need. All right. So... That $79.97 price tag on there, that was, it's been marked down so many times, this thing. This is originally about $130 for this battery. Buck 30. And I'm like, I can't. I can't spend $130. Even though I really wanted to, and I wanted to put it into the equipment and everything else, and I thought maybe I'll save up, and it just never happened. Yada, yada, yada. Um, never got the battery. They sold out of the other ones. <clears throat> and Walmart was in the process of discontinuing selling batteries in general. They were still selling camcorders and stuff like that. But they weren't selling any batteries. So, the pipe went out. Um, so I was kind of stuck between a, a rock and a hard place, and I really wanted to get the good battery, but I didn't want to fork over the money for it. So, I kind of made do with what I had for a while. It worked for a really long time. Months went by, money, paying bills, blah, 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 never got the battery. Um, so eventually, I went back to Walmart. Guess what I see on the shelf? Boom, same battery, marked down. Hey, you know what, we're not selling anymore, it's going to be discontinued. And uh, they marked it down from 130 to 115 And I'm like, wow, that's great. <clears throat> um, but I don't have $115 right now. So I'll wait until they mark it down to, say, 90 right so I go home whatever happens in between I come back then it's marked down to like 110 105 100 right I go back there um, and it's stuck at a hundred for a couple months right so skip forward to now it's time to go and I'm kind of it's not something I'm really like obsessed with but every time I go to Walmart I literally see the same battery underneath uh, the the counter for the photo uh, section staring me in the face hey man remember me buy me 
and uh, I just never had the money. Every time I went in there, I was in there for a specific thing. I don't just go shopping to, to kill time and waste money. Uh, if I'm going to a store, I'm there with a, a list, and I'm specifically getting this, 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 and this. I try not to browse because it's really easy to just find crap to buy, and uh, it's, it's not a good thing to do. So, you know, over the, the course of a couple months, I keep seeing the same battery, and every time I'm in there, I'm like, you know what? I got to get that thing. I got to start saving for it. So now we skip ahead to shot show time. Okay, me and Christina are at Walmart. We're getting, um, I think she needed, I don't know, some, something, hair dryer, I forget, something for the trip, right? So we're at Walmart again. And um, lo and behold, the battery's sitting there. Now, at that point, the battery has this price on it. Okay, this exact sticker on the battery. Wow, 80 bucks down from 130. And I thought to myself, I have to get this battery. I need it for my trip. We were filming a lot of stuff in Vegas. I, you know, I really want this battery. This is the time I really need to get it. So, hold on. Well, hold on. I'm rushing this uh, this whole pipe experience. I have so much story to tell you. I'm not enjoying my pipe. <sighs> Beautiful night, by the way. Nice cool breeze. It was raining before. Okay, back to the story. Because I, I wanted to just tell you before I, I forget where I was going. All right. Shot show. See the battery. I go up. I say, look. There's some young kid there. I don't know, 21, 22. I say, look, man. As your manager here, I want to talk about this battery. I say, look, it's been marked down. It's been here for months. You're not selling this anymore. It's, it's discontinued. What can you do? Can you do a lower price? I'm trying to haggle at Walmart, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to haggle like it's a garage sale. Like, I don't like your five bucks, you know, how about $1.50? That's what I'm trying to do. And the manager comes over, and the manager's like, you know, how can I help you? I explain, look, this thing's been sitting here. Um, the package is ripped on the bottom. There's, it's been marked down. It's here for months. I'm like, look, this is going to be a write-off. No one's going to buy this thing. You're going to throw it in the dumpster and put it in your books and... It's going to be a complete loss, you know. I mean, it'll be a write-off for Walmart, but you're not going to be able to sell the product. You're not going to make money on it. What can you do? What can you do for me? And she's flabbergasted. She's like, <laughs> and she literally said to me, "You can't haggle. It's Walmart, okay? Uh, this is the price. If you want it, that's the price we could do." And honestly, I was—I I don't know why I felt like offended by that, but I did. I'm like, "All right, you know what? That's fine. I don't need it. Put it back." Went on my business, went to Vegas, uh, was struggling with my battery situation, kicking myself, should have bought the battery, should have just spent the 80 bucks. So, anyway, skip ahead. I don't know, a month after we got back from the trip, right? I'm at Walmart. Guess what I see? That's right. Battery staring me in the face yet again. Walk over, talk to a manager. It's a different manager this time. Same spiel. Hey, still sitting here, been watching this for months now. Package is ripped, no longer selling it. What can you do? What's your cash price? Um, I could take 10% off of it for you, sir. 10%? Can't you do anything better? Nope. Sorry. I thought, you know what? Screw it. I'll keep waiting. I will wait because I know this thing will go down and down and down in price, right? So no thanks. I'll wait. Now, skip ahead to Blade Show, okay? <laughs> I'm at Walmart. Again, getting something for the... I, actually, I think I got a shirt, one of my shirts I bought at Walmart. Because um, I wanted to have another like dressy shirt for the show. I didn't want to look like a slob walking around t-shirts every day. So, I'm like, I'm going to get a nice shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's where you go for nice shirts, Walmart. Uh, when you're on a, a budget and <laughs> you don't have a whole lot to spend. Walmart's where you get your mighty fine clothes. Anyway, um... <laughs> Yes, I own a nice shirt from Walmart. I'm not the only one. I'm not ashamed of it. So anyway, moving on. Um, so I'm there getting my nice shirt. And uh, guess what? I see the battery and I'm kicking myself. I'm, I'm going on another freaking trip. I really need this battery. I really, really need it. <sighs> but I'm stubborn. You know, I, you guys don't know about that about me. It's something deep inside. I'm stubborn, especially with money sometimes. I'm stuck on in my mind. I'm thinking, you know what? This thing is going to go down and down and down. And one day, I'm going to walk away with it for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, I'll get it after all that, right? So every time I go to Walmart, I check, make sure it's there, right? So all right, I'm going to Blade Show. I'm out there to get my nice shirt. 
I walk over, I see this, I go to the manager, hey, guess what? It's been here for months, I'm trying to get a good deal on it, what can you do for me? So she says, I'll do $69.99, okay? Marked it down at $69.99. I said, I don't know. It's been here for months. I laughed and I said, you know what? I know you guys can do better. I'll see you in a couple months. And and she laughed. She says, okay, whatever. And she put it back on the shelf, right? So go to Blade Show. Once again, kicking myself for not, for not just forking the money over. I know you guys think this is ridiculous, but it's... <laughs> Friggin' A. Um, I just, I was, I knew I was going to get a better price eventually on this thing. And I don't take no for an answer, okay? When the manager tells me I can't haggle at Walmart, I say BS, I can haggle wherever I want. So, today, skip forward, maybe two other times I was at Walmart for whatever reason, getting crap. Again, same deal, talk to the manager. And, and when I see the same manager for this situation, they just give me the same spiel. They can't obviously do anything. So, today, on my anniversary, taking my wonderful woman out to dinner, and uh, we had to stop there for uh, a couple errands on the way, and guess what I run into? I run into my battery. But I see an old lady, mighty, mighty old lady, uh, sitting at the counter there. Never saw her before. I thought, hmm, hmm, old ladies like giving deals. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. And so, um... I talked to her about it, and I said, you know what, this battery's been sitting here for a long time. And you know what she said to me? She said, yeah, I've been looking at that battery for over a year now. And I said, wow, I never saw, I didn't know you, you worked here. She's like, I usually work nights, and I'm, I'm not there that late. She does like an overnight, whatever, something or other. She's like, I've been looking at that battery for a year, and it's taken up a spot that I need, okay? So she's totally on my side. I told the whole story. I was laughing with her. We're literally cracking up. Christina's going to get her cleaning stuff for, to make her detergent, and I'm over here cracking with like an 85-year-old woman about this battery. She's like, yeah, it's been here for a year. I said, I keep coming in here every month after month, and I keep trying to get a deal, and they're like, you know. She, she's like, it's ridiculous. It's taking up this spot, and they can't put anything else out there. No one wants this battery, okay? It's outdated. Like The cameras you're buying now, camcorders. By the way, um, all the, uh, the Sony stuff is like very proprietary. I love my Sony Handycam that I film with, but I, I mentioned this before, you're stuck with a certain format of video, you're stuck with these batteries. It's not the best choice for versatility. So anyway, woman says, you know what, I know who to call. She called one of the managers, this oriental woman who came over. Again, never saw this woman either, so never dealt with her. Um, she comes over, hey, you know, how you doing? Uh, and then she comes over, she sees there's a price here, and on the, the, the tag it was 69 because they never took this sticker off which is retarded, they have this, it says $79.97 on the wall with a tag above it, $69.99. It makes no sense to begin with. So she comes over thinking that she's going to change the price to $69.99. I said, no, no, no. I told her the whole spiel, <clears throat> went through the whole story once again. She's like, well, she explained to me, she's like, you know, Walmart has to make money. They have to make money on a product. They will not sell it for less than they paid for it. She told me, you know, as a manager, I can see what Walmart bought this battery for, okay? So she went on the computer, put in the serial number, the whole deal, and she's like, this is between me and you. Walmart paid $47 for this battery. Like originally, it sold for $130, okay, before it kept getting marked down. They said, Walmart has $47 into this battery. We have to make a profit. We cannot sell this to a customer without making a profit. So... I'll sell it to you for $48. That's the best you're ever going to get on this product. She said, we will literally throw this out in the dumpster before we sell it for less than that. So she's like, that's your one-time offer. She said, I appreciate you you trying and coming in all this time. And Do you want it or not? Just like that. And she said, if you don't take this, I'm going to throw it in the dumpster today. Okay, because it has been sitting here for a year. And I said, you got yourself a deal. And, and that was it. And that's what I paid for this. I paid... $48 plus tax came out to $50.88. So, moral of the story, don't give up. I was able to haggle prices at Walmart and eventually got what I wanted. I am super excited. Um, I really need a battery. Now, now the question, does it work? Because it does have a rip package. So, I'll annotate right now if it worked or not. Damn, my pipe went out again. This is what happens. I come out here and enjoy a nice pipe, and I, I start 
you know, babbling on and on about stuff. Mm. I like this chocolate cream pie. It has actually a little more chocolate flavor. Like when you have, uh, well, maybe not you personally, but my whole experience with uh, chocolate flavored aromatics, a lot of them are really creamy, and you get just a hint of chocolate. This actually has more chocolate flavor. And don't forget what I mentioned in my, my past video is that whenever you're talking about flavors and tobaccos, it's predominantly tobacco flavored. It's not like chewing a chocolate bar or anything like that. But there's definitely more chocolate flavoring in this one than probably any of them that I've had yet to date. And it's, it's really creamy too, so. Really nice. And this smokes great. It's got a really good draw on it. Good pull. So, anyway, I'm going to keep that going. I want to thank you very much for listening to my story. I am so excited about this friggin' battery. I, I can't even tell you. It's just, it's just, it's a satisfaction uh, of hanging in there and, uh, and not giving up. And uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that price. So it was less than, uh, you know, half of the original price. So anyway, that is my story I want to share with you guys today. I want to thank you very much for watching. And I want to tell you that I really do hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And most of you guys watch these YouTube videos at night. So I will extend that into tomorrow and the day after and the day after that and every day for the rest of your life. Um, not to get philosophical or anything, but, uh, you know, life is full of great moments and really, really crappy moments. <clears throat> and uh, every time you have a crappy moment, try to think about some good ones coming along. Because no matter how crappy your life is, and trust me, there's a lot of people out there with some some real heartache, you know. You wake up, stub your toe, you know, your account's overdrawn, 10 bucks, you, you know, you miss your bus, whatever your problems are, trust me, those are not problems. There's people out there with some serious, serious problems, and uh, I think we all get caught up sometimes in, in our own little world, and <clears throat> not getting enough cream in your coffee is, is not really having a bad day. Uh, so, you know, keep in perspective. But anyway, count your blessings, and uh, love the one you're with. <laughs> it's true, you should. And, uh, and that's it. You know, try to enjoy life. And, and don't take it so seriously every now and then. you got to joke around and have a sense of humor. You know, step back from being so serious. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon.